These women are talking about how they're not going to date men, sleep with men, procreate with men, and all these other things, right? Feminism is going to lead these women into dating each other. Congratulations, you walked face first into the point. And every time, these men think they are the first person to realize this. That if you don't date men, well then you'll have to date women, or date no one. Yeah, that's the general idea. It's also not a new idea. Separatism has been part of feminist thought throughout second wave feminism of the 60s and 70s. A desire to live a life entirely separated from men and patriarchy. Women have thought about and talked about this issue and the consequences of it for decades. Such as when the Chicago Women's Liberation Union wrote back in 1972 that ideological and political separatism wasn't really viable. That women still need men's economic, political, and social allyship to help dismantle patriarchy. But when it came to their private lives, that was another story. And many women made the separatist choice back then, and 50 years later are continuing to make that choice. For years, you've been telling women that they rely on the infrastructure built by men, so they set about building and relying on their own. It is becoming ever more viable for women to live a life entirely separated from men. To live in community with women, to shop at women-owned businesses, to buy products designed and engineered by women, and utilize services and labor provided by women. And you are all so pressed by the very idea of women out there living their lives without men, that you not only have to object based on your opinion, but to make out that it's a moral concern. Is that not of the devil? Like, it's literally evil. You would think that the devil would be far more involved in the horrific rates of SA, IPV, grape, and abuse that women face. The deadliest threat a woman faces is the man in her own home. And when women, battered and broken by what we've done to them, say enough, rather than respect that, or better yet, take a moment of introspection to wonder why every woman you'll date has a story of being abused or harassed by a man. You use it as another opportunity to degrade women further, mocking them even as they say no more. That is the devil's work. Like, imagine if men got on this app and said, oh yeah, we're going to participate in the four Bs. Oh, but men did. Upset at feminist separatism, they decided to lean heavily into that you can't fire us, we quit energy and made their own separatist movement. And the original manifesto from 2001 highlights the difference between men's separatism. For men, it was about retributive punishment towards women. Until women started acting right and getting back to the feminine values of unwavering obedience, respect, and sandwich making, then these men were opting out. But the entire goal was always about manipulating women to fit their goal of what a woman should be. And it's funny, I just finished watching a documentary on the FLDS and there is not a hair's breadth of difference between these men desperately trying to convince women that their only value comes by centering men, by being respectful, obedient, and feminine, and cult leaders using the exact same rhetoric to keep women fearful so that women could be traded around like commodities. It is about fear, control, and domination. Which is evidenced by the fact that while these men are claiming the 4B movement is all about man-hating, I can't even mention the name of the men's movement because it has been banned off all social media platforms for promoting violence and hatred against women with real life consequences. It was never about them going their own way, which is proven by the fact that they cannot help themselves but comment on, critique, and invade any space where men are decentered. Which ultimately is what this is all really about. Men who are secure in themselves and their worth spend zero time concerned about what women who do not want them are doing with their lives. The only men who are pressed are the men who need women to center men that need to convince women that pursuing a man is the only major milestone in their life that gives women any value. Because those men believe the only measure of success in their life is to have a woman by their side that listens and obeys their demands. They are terrified because their entire lives they've been convinced that a man who is single, who doesn't have a woman that he can control, is worthless and has no value. And that is where men need to come together to offer their voice, their insight, opinions, and wisdom to help men find value and worth within themselves. Rather than wasting their breath insulting women, who never wanted them in the first place?